The NBA in the 2000s was, it was special. Trust me, guys. I was there. I grew up in the 2000s, so maybe I'm blinded by nostalgia, but I think it was the best era of NBA basketball ever. And it wasn't just the on-court ball that made it so special. It was the outside media. It was the merch. When are we going to get a movie like, like Mike again? The answer is probably never bro they made nba legos nba jerseys started to become a big part of fashion and fashion in general was heavily influenced by nba culture at the time i'm not gonna lie i miss the baggy clothes i miss when everyone dressed like adam sandler the game nba street nba jam nba live nba court side i don't know why can't we get a goofy basketball game anymore i want to dunk on luigi with yao ming but besides the outside stuff the on the court stuff was pretty cool too the 2000s was a stars league almost every team had a signature guy and everyone was getting signature sneakers and shit the starberries you had ai on the sixers Melo on the nuggets lebron on the Cavs, kobe on the lakers d wade on the heat I think you get the point. It probably wasn't true, but it did feel like every team had a star. And a lot of them were like all time generational stars. Modern NBA is like all team oriented and shit. And like, whereas the 2000s were like the peak of individual stardom. Like, yeah, the Lakers and Spurs dominated most of the decade. Whoop de doo. No one cared about that. It was the stars that ran the league. As a kid, I didn't care about the freaking Spurs. I cared about Tracy McGrady getting buckets. Or Dirk Nowitzki hitting a one-legged fadeaway. <laughs> That's actually a lie. I didn't like Dirk Nowitzki as a kid. The stars felt bigger than basketball. And maybe I felt like that because I was a little prepubescent f and I looked up to them. But I do think there's more to it than that. There was like this mythical element to NBA stars that just does not exist today. In the 2000s, we only saw what the NBA or TV wanted us to see. There was very little social media. So stuff like slam magazines were our only real peek into who the stars were outside of watching the actual games. I thought they were superheroes. My favorite was Tracy McGrady. He was cool. LeBron James, my goat, my glorious king, just carrying the worst rosters you've ever seen in your life every single year. Fucking Eric Snow, Jack, the big diesel, absolute menace to society. There was like 30 dudes in the league that looked exactly like this guy that were in the league for the sole purpose of fouling Shaq as much as possible so that he wouldn't just dunk the ball every possession. Just a bunch of like seven foot white guys. It was a crazy time. Kobe? What the fuck? Weirdos who never watched basketball a day in their life would still yell Kobe every time they threw away trash. Allen Iverson was just so fucking cool. Look at him. Kevin Garnett was a bully. Tim Duncan was a, a really chill guy. Vince Carter jumped really high. D Wade was really fast. Yao Ming was tall. Michael Jordan was old. Steve Nash was Canadian. The talent in the league has never been better. And because of that, we got some all time great teams. The Sacramento Kings, my first love, the most pure form of basketball I've ever seen in my life. The best team to never win a championship. That's a take I will die on a hill for, by the way. Asia Stoyakovich is probably the most underrated star of all time. Mike Bibby is pretty much my dad. The Lakers. I actually used to hate this team. Now I'm a Lakers fan. Life comes at you fast. I don't need to say anything. This video of the Kobe and Shaq duo says enough. Everyone knows, like, the best duo of all time. The Spurs. Basically, if the Lakers weren't there, they were there. They were really good at basketball. I didn't enjoy watching them as a kid, though. <laughs> The Pistons, back when they had the horse logo, which was cool as shit. They won a championship without a superstar. That just doesn't happen anymore. The big three Celtics in the late 2000s, besides Paul Pierce pooping himself, they were pretty cool too. The Mavericks were always good, but they always choked. I feel like everyone forgets that Nowitzki and Nash were like a duo in the early 2000s. Seattle had a team. Onyx Ray Allen was that guy. The We Believe Warriors, the Seven Seconds or Less Suns, Mellow and AI Nuggets, Jack on the Heat, Yao and C-Mac Rockets, the early 2000s Nets, the list goes on forever. The point is, this era was iconic. 
and so much crazy shit happened too. The malice at the palace could literally be its own video. The Pacers were fighting fans in the stands. They literally just canceled the rest of the game. I remember being a little ass kid and watching Ron Artest walk through the stadium tunnels and I thought that was jail and he was walking to his cell. The NBA was on some WWE shit at this time. Refs were rigging games for the mafia? Like, don't get me started on the Lakers and Kings 2002 Western Conference Finals. There's just, there's, there's a lot to unpack there. Tracy McGrady scored 33 points in 13 seconds to win a game. That's fucking crazy. Here comes McGrady. No timeout committed. McGrady for the win. Yes! Kobe scored 81 points in a game? The most ever scored? Yeah, sorry. The will shit isn't real. AI stepping over Ty Lue? After dropping 48 points on the Lakers' head, LeBron scoring the final 25 points, final 29 of 30 for the Cavs to beat the Detroit Pistons in the Eastern Conference Finals, Game 5. And he hit a lot of clutch shots, by the way, obviously. Get Bayless. Vince Carter in the dunk contest in 2000? Like, what the hell? So many iconic game winners, too. This was a fucking shotgun blast on my chest as a three-year-old. What? LeBron hitting a game-winning clutch shot in the playoffs? Oh shit, another one? I thought he didn't do that. Oh my god, another one? Okay, I'm, let me let me stop with my LeBron agenda. This Derek Fisher shot? Crazy. Kobe Bean Bryant versus the Suns? You just had to be there. Or you could watch this video and understand why this era was the best shit ever. In the moment, you never realize it either. I was a kid, so I was stupid, but everything about the NBA in the 2000s was special. Especially the Denver Nugget jeans. Even the team logos and the jerseys, so iconic. The All-Star games where they'd wear their own team's jerseys. The media and the merchandise surrounding the league was just so much cooler or maybe i'm just obsessed with 2000s aesthetics i don't know it might be that too look at all these basketball cards i have from the 2000s if i could relive it i probably would but like everything in life things come and go and you don't really realize what you're missing until you're missing it at first i was trying to do some really deep emotional ending to this video but fuck that let's go build some nba legos and be in the moment as always, I love you guys and appreciate every one of you that watched this through the entire video. As you can tell, I'm a very nostalgic person. I'm just happy I can share it with somebody. And that somebody is you. So. This intro is kind of cringy sometimes. Alright, that's it. I'm sorry. Oh my god, I feel just how I used to.